not frightened of the dark, cause the haunted fairways of Spooky Hollow will scare the living daylights out of you. And if you happen to find yourself surrounded by ghosts, goblins, and witches, I suggest you let them play through. This is one golf course where you'll need more than just clubs and balls. You'll need a change of underwear. <laughs> Hailing from the mean streets of Queens, Donna don't take no crap from no one. This disco golfing diva has been swinging clubs since she was 10. Then she discovered you could also hit golf balls with them. When Donna's got a groove on, she can smoke your ass in a New York minute. Lugging Donna's clubs is her linguini slurping boyfriend, Caddy, and made man wannabe, Vinny. Born with a silver spoon in her mouth and a platinum cord in her hand, Trixie is the snootiest golfer to ever lift a golf club. This snob of the fairways has the dubious distinction of being the only person in history to have never uttered the words thank you, retail, or styrofoam. Schlepping Trixie's clubs and nagging her to death is her hard drinking Prozac popping mom, Bunny. This here's the 18th. Well, tweak my nipples. This 373-yard par five is a real doozy. Look at that there water hazard. Except for fishing, I'd avoid that sucker at all costs. And let me tell you, this hole's got more sand on it than a grease pig at the beach. By the way, I'm not talking about a porker. I'm talking about my woman when she slathers on that sunscreen. Now that's what I call fear rightening. Up first and raring to go is Donna. Well done. Just the way I like my steaks. <laughs> Ting off second is Trixie. Not bad. Second shot. Better hold off on that Prozac refill. Second shot. Trixie is putting down a nosebleed inducing incline. For a strike up the band, where's the parade eagle? Easy now. Enjoy the gimme and Merry Christmas. I got one under par. I got one under par. I don't know what that means, but I think it's kind of good. Donna is smacking for a heart-stopping eagle. Let's check the batteries on the defibrillator. Forget 12-step groups. You're doing just fine on your own. Eagle, baby! Get out your cameras! Cheese. 
Check out the 17. Okay, this might only be a 186 yard par three, but it has this really scary drop right here. Salem golf officials have given the name of this really scary drop, the really scary drop. I think that's so creative. If I was any more excited about that shot, I'd need a tissue and an apology. for a tasty birdie. Nice putt, and that's all that matters. For a shot at birdie. Mathematically, this hole has reached its expiration date. Say hello to a new record-setting putt. Don't expect it to respond. It's pretty conceited. Welcome to the 16th. This is a 374 yard par four. Now, if you don't mind, I have a story about a mamacita I met at the truck stop. I was loitering outside the ladies room. She most likely had just relieved herself when our eyes met. Next thing you know, we're doing the taco tango on the floor of the handicap stall. And they say romance is dead. For a change, there are more highlights in my game than in my hair. I guess there's a first for everything. a big time hit. Records are meant to be broken, especially when they're by the village people. Nice. Somebody send over the cocktail waitress. I want to start celebrating immediately. Second shot. Second shot. Nice contact on that one. Boy, that shot was a lot like marriage. It started off so, so good, and then went so terribly wrong. Third shot. Sweet. Maybe good golf isn't so hard after all. Third shot.
Can't complain about that shot. Well, I could, but that's my gift. Donna has an opportunity to nail this one for par. Nice contact on that one. I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. If I'm not mistaken, that was one big ass choke. And I'm not mistaken. Trixie is eyeing this putt to try for poor, and since I'm a pessimist, head straight for bogey land. If I'm not mistaken, that was one big ass choke, and I'm not mistaken. To hopefully make bogey and bask in the warm glow of mediocrity. Can't get any closer than that. Looks like we have a push on this hole. Here we are at the 15th. Thank God this is only 315 yard par four. This hole is scarier than the time I ran out of mascara and had to use my brother's crayons. But that wasn't as scary as the time I ran out of hairspray and had to use Raid. On the plus side, it did repel cockroaches. Like Danny, Marco, Frankie P, Gino, Joe. Donna is about to drive it off the tee. I can practically taste the excitement. Or maybe I just need new gum. Let's hope somebody bites off someone's ear. Ow! That's not my ear. Foot massage. Cue ball. Gonads. What goes up gets punched out. Eat it. Let's hope that caddy's funeral is an open casket. Nothing wrong with that shot. That's what we in the biz call a money shot. Someone tip the fluffer. Okay, second shot. Too early to pack. Well, that sure makes club selection easy. All right, second shot. Whoop-de-doo, we're on the green. Donna 
is hoping for a shot at Birdie and all its glory. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Trixie is attempting to make a birdie. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. According to my high school math teacher, who I still hang out with because he buys me beer, this hole is mathematically over. make you squeal. Tugging down yonder is optional. Even through this vodka haze, I can tell that was a nice shot. The key to scoring is to keep your head down, folks. And that also applies to golf. Good shot. Second shot. Hey, that falls on the green. Let's all do the wave. You players at home start. Second shot. nestled comfortably on the green like my head in the ample bosom of a large woman. You gotta have dreams, people. <laughs> Trixie is putting down a gentle slope for a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? That's just the kind of putt you want to bring home to mom. Hey, this one's on me, buddy. Donna is concentrating to sink a birdie. Nicely done. this 400 yard par 4 is that it's really kind of creepy. You know, I'm so easily scared by stuff like horror movies, ghost stories, and outlet stores. Plus, playing at night is cool because it's not nearly as sunny out as during the day. Donna has a big club and is ready to jack it off the tee.
Wow, that ball travels faster than a speeding bullet. And trust me, I get shot at all the time. Time to call Guinness about that record-breaking drive. And I'm talking about the beer company. Second shot. That ball's a beaut. Second shot. Time to pat somebody on the back. And while you're at it, I'll take a hot old body rub. For a shot at birdie. One word, nice punch. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Be a peach and give your mother some fake affection. Now be a peach and pretend you're a bartender. I need a refill. For a tasty birdie. Nice putt, and that's all that matters. Ah, yes, there's nothing like a tie to settle absolutely nothing. Congratulations! That putt has earned a spot in the record books. Gage of only 12. This 495-yard par-4 gives me goosebumps. Why do they call them goosebumps anyway? They do not look anything like a goose. And what do they call it when a goose gets bumps? These questions have kept El Suave awake for many nights. That, and why exactly does potato salad rot when you keep it in the sun? I got a good feeling about this hole, but I'm happy about pretty much any activity that doesn't end up with someone saying, get rid of the body. Now that's a textbook example of how not to hit a golf shot. Hope you enjoyed it, because you just got voted out of the zone. Third shot. That shot makes me want to become a better person. Amazing what a little dumb luck will do for your shot. Fourth shot. I know one golfer who should stay away from lottery tickets. 
Second shot. Concentrate. Fifth shot. A miss here could be problematic. ball is so close to being in the hole, it really should wear protection. Trixie has this putt for a shot at birdie and all its glory. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. By my calculations, this hole is mathematically over. I'm so excited I could hug you all! You get tongue. <laughs> Hate to interrupt, but there's a call for you in the clubhouse. Dr. Kepler says your implants have been recalled. Hurry along, dear. She falls for that every time. Here goes the 11th. Check out that moon. I haven't seen a moon that big since Dolores de Podesta flashed her ass out of the driver's window of a Camry. And she was driving. I'm telling you that Amazonian has some long ass legs. Anyway, speaking of long, this 711 yard par 5 has got to be the longest hole on the planet. There are more scary twists and turns out here than the plot from a Stephen King novel. I've actually never read one of his books because quite frankly I don't like reading. My lips get tired. Oh my god, what a shot! Oh my god, I'm overreacting! Sweet mama, that's a new record! Second shot. Second shot. Trixie is fairway adjacent. There goes the neighborhood. Oh, oh. Nice. Give that ball a gold star. Fourth shot.
That'll score a 9.6 with the German judge. Donna is tapping to drop this putt in for one hot eagle. Personally, I like my eagle cold, maybe with a little hot sauce, but then I'm a communist. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. I'm afraid this hole is mathematically over. Now, if it was up to me, we'd keep playing and playing, but then again, I'm a masochist. A record-setting putt! Cue the oohs and ahs. I am friggin' good! You are friggin' hot! Who oh. says golf ain't a contact sport? Here's the tenth. Oh, thank the good Lord, this is only a 199-yard par three. Because I accidentally swallowed some tobacco juice and a turd tornado is about to blow through my trousers. Now, if only I could find an outhouse. <laughs> Never mind. If you think that's a strange place to keep my hairspray, wait till you see where I keep my car keys. Donna looks eager to whack one off. I suppose that was intentional. Yeah, right. How lucky can you get? Trixie is about to take out some repressed aggressions and drive that sucker. Whoa, that tree definitely had it coming. Trixie is in the rough, which believe me, is definitely better than a Turkish prison. Donna is preparing for a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? You can add it up any way you like, but in the end, we're done here, folks. so long. It's like 573 yards in a par five. And check out all those scary looking trees. I saw this horror movie once where this tree came to life and attacked a little girl. And the girl was all like, no, help me, help me. And the tree was all like, I'm evil, you die. And the girl was all like, wait a minute, trees don't talk. And the tree was all like, well, this one does. And she was all like, you're stupid. And he was like, no, you're stupid. And then she was all like, ball was hit so hard, it should press assault charges.
Nice shot. Nice distance. Nice rack. Sorry, folks. I got distracted. Second shot. That'll work. Guess that ball must have a better agent than me. Second shot. Well, so much for being in the zone. That shot left skid marks. Third shot. Nice. That ball just got some prime real estate. To sink a birdie. Look out! Donna is firmly in the sand and proud to be screwed. Damn! Someone laid out some highway spikes. If you have low self-esteem, this should help. Nasty is one way to describe this break to the right. Mathematically, this hole has reached its expiration date. Nice! That was good for both of us. From the eighth, do not fret me, amigos. This 387 yard par four is not quite so frightening as it would seem. If you can avoid the ooky spooky stuff, you will find this hole a snap. Ah, who am I kidding? This hole scares the crap out of me. Does anyone have a spare song? Nice contact on that one. This zone is for loading, unloading, and well-composed players only. Trixie is about to launch it off the tee in 10, 9, 8. Like a deacon at a Boy Scout convention, talk about an uncomfortable lie. Second shot. Second shot. Good shot. Oh boy, with a daunting break to the right. That putt's gonna take some finesse and gel.
Nicely done! Donna is hoping for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Nice put, and that's all that matters. This hole ends in a tie, and so the battle continues. We're here at the seventh. This is a short 161-yard par three, and it's a good thing because it scares the bejesus out of me. Big time bejesus. Sorry I took the Lord's name in vain, but I'm shaking in my pumps. Nice shot! to sink a birdie. Hit the dirt! If that break were any more to the right, it would be on after O'Reilly. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? By my calculations, this hole is mathematically over. Yeah! This comes in real handy when I eat popcorn. Whoa, Nelly! This 512-yard par five is longer than my little sister's mustache. What can I say? She's mature for her age. And just like her deformed spine, the fairway curves hard to the right. Yep, she's a real looker. Daddy's had to beat the fellas off her with a stick. Actually, it's more of a stick with a large blade attached to it. But it sure does do the trick. I'm talking ugly. Donna is on the tee and anxious to prove that failure is not genetically predetermined. I can't say enough about that shot, nor do I want to. Good shot. What should I do? Write you a song? Get over it. Second shot. Second shot. Nice contact on that one.
third shot. That'll do. Trixie is preparing to punt downhill for a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? That ball needs to pull the cord on its chute. Donna is concentrating for an awe-inspiring eagle. Nice stroke, nice butt, nice job. You can add it up any way you like, but in the end, we're done here, folks. Yeah, yeah, let me hear it. I said hear it, not have it. Yeah, I rock. We are here at the fifth, 429 yards in the dark. This par four is creepier than the old guys my mom dates. And the fairway is filled with more curves than the waiting room at my plastic surgeon's office. I wonder if Spooky Hollow uses silicone too. That's a good looking ball. I'm strangely attracted to it. Second shot. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. seeing more green than the inside of P. Diddy's wallet, or whatever he calls himself. Trixie has an opportunity for a shot at birdie. Here's a gimme. And don't say I never did anything for you. Donna is attempting for a shot at birdie and all its glory. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Yes, that was a birdie you just saw. Ah! All right, who's the dumbass who left the tee on the ground? Thank God I'm equipped with airbags. Behold the fourth! This 576 yard par five is very long and creepy. If you are afraid of ghosties and goblins, this hole could be very unnerving for you. However, if you laugh in the face of danger like El Suave, Chu will be delighted by this spooky challenge. Unlike my cowardly caddy Al Ramon, who still uses a nightlight when he sleeps, I fear nothing! Except maybe blemishes and wrinkles. <gasps> what was that? 
Did you hear that? I heard it. Hey, when I'm good, I'm good. And when I'm bad, I'm really good. Good shot. That ball was gone! I hope it wasn't anything I said. Second shot. Second shot. Here we go. Third shot. Anything is still possible. What goes up must come down, and down it comes. Perfectly on the green. Trixie has this putt to sink a birdie. That's a nice putt. Cute little dimples, too. To putt for par. Nice stroke. Nice putt. Nice job. For a shot at bogey and the half-hearted applause that comes with it. Donna is tapping for a remarkable eagle. I'm a dog man, sorry. Houston, I think we have a golfer. I shot an eagle. Hey, don't hurt our national symbol. <clears throat> it's a fragment of speech, loser. Here's the third. Forget the friggin' water. The biggest hazard on this 167-yard par three is playing in the dark. Who knows what kind of creepy perverts are out there? You want some advice for this hole? See if the pro shop sells pepper spray. If I was any more excited about that shot, I'd need a tissue and an apology. on the green. Let's hear it for annoying overachievers. Donna is lining up for a tasty birdie.
One word. Nice punch. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Damn, that was an impressive putt. We're looking at a record here. I smell corporate sponsorship. Now we're talking. That slut Gina Pompalusa may have nailed my boyfriend, but she ain't never nailed a birdie. Wait, that didn't come out right. Trixie is preparing for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Now that's an attractive putt. Although it's what's on the inside that really matters. According to my high school math teacher, who I still hang out with because he buys me beer, this hole is mathematically over. Take a whiff of the second. This 358-yard par-4 is one spooky damn hole. It's scarier than my third wife's sister, who was actually my second wife's mother, who also happened to be my first wife. Anyhow, if it weren't for this here goose shoved up my ass, I'd be crapping bricks right now just looking at it. Bring on the next hole. Hey, Benny, where is the next hole? How the hell should I know? I'm a bay magnet, not a compass. Nice contact on that one. Trixie is about to tee off. Can't you feel the excitement in my pants? I mean, air in the air. In the air, I mean. Second shot. Way to lay it up and on. All right, second shot. Way to go. Time to break out the putter. This one's sloping to the right in a big way. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. These players are all knotted up. Sounds kinky. We're at the first. I don't want to sound like a big baby or anything, but this hole scares the crap out of me. It's even scarier than the time I thought I was pregnant. Ended up I was just late due to stress over my hairstylist moving to Dallas. But I finally found someone I could trust with my split ends. Jose, if you're listening, can you ink me for Tuesday? Getting back to the hole, it's 431 yards and a par four. Ah, what was that? Kidding, just practicing. Donna is preparing to smack the bejesus out of the ball. Get the smell and salt. That ball was knocked senseless.
Trixie is armed and itching to fire one off. Pretty good, I take that. Second shot. Oh, nice catch. Second shot. That ball is sure sitting pretty on the green. What a conceited little bastard. Third shot. Donna is eyeing this putt for a shot at birdie and all its glory. Houston, I think we have a golfer. I'm afraid this hole is mathematically over. Now, if it was up to me, we'd keep playing and playing, but then again, I'm a masochist. Oh, yeah. I love it when I get a birdie. I also love it when I get to boogie down, baby. Hey, look, Ma, no hands. That's very nice, dear. Hey, you always hope for a close contest, but this was not one of those times. Hats off to Donna Maroney! You did it, girl! All right, now. <coughs> Congratulations. Time to roll the credits on this game, because it's over. By the way, what the hell's a lead modeler? <laughs>